If you're shopping for an Android tablet in 2020, there's really no better option to pick up than one of Amazon's Fire tablets. With devices starting as low as just $50, Amazon's tablets are great for browsing the web, watching Netflix or Disney+, Plus, or for just playing games around the house. The best part of the Fire tablet lineup? They run Android, which means you could bypass Amazon's restrictions to download the Play Store right to your device. If you're ready to install YouTube, Gmail, Google Docs, or any other Google app, you need to start by installing the Play Store. Here's how to do it. We've covered how to install the Play Store on the channel in the past, but in 2020, it's just a bit different than it was before. Thankfully, just as in our previous guide, you won't need to use a PC to push commands to your device. All you need to start is your Fire tablet, along with the four APK files from APK Mirror linked in the description below. You'll also need a Google account to log into the Play Store. To begin, you'll need to check your Fire tablet model as well as your software version. Head into the settings menu, then look for device options. At the bottom of this menu, look for your device model and generation. Make a note of this, it's going to be important later. After this, tap System Updates and make sure you've updated your tablet to its newest software version. After updating Fire OS, dive back into Settings, select Privacy and Security under the Personal category, and toggle Apps from Unknown Sources on. Hit OK on the confirmation prompt, then exit back to the home screen. This allows us to install those APK files from APK Mirror to our device. The next step is a big one. Four APK files are needed to be installed on your device for the Play Store to work properly, and it's important to choose the four files that are correct for your device. These can be downloaded and installed right from the browser on your Fire tablet. It's important to install them in the correct order, so make sure to follow these steps closely. To start, download the Google Account Manager. Fire OS devices run on a modified version of Android, though the version of Android actually depends on your generation of Fire tablet. That's why it's important to know which tablet you're using. If your tablet is running Fire OS 5, make sure you use the linked version meant for Fire OS 5 devices. The same goes for tablets running Fire OS 6 or Fire OS 7. Make sure you use the version linked below that corresponds to your tablet's operating system. Download the APK from APK Mirror, but don't install it just yet. Instead, leave the notification inside your notification tray for the time being. Next up is the Google Services Framework. Just as before, load the version listed below, then download the APK to your device and leave the notification in your tray. The third APK is for Google Play Services, and unfortunately, this one's a bit complicated. For anyone using a Fire HD 8 or Fire HD 10 from 2016 or later, install the 64-bit version listed below. If you're using a Fire 7 tablet from 2019 or later, also install the 64-bit version. If you aren't sure how old your Fire 7 is, check your system settings. If you're running Fire OS 5, use the 32-bit version. For anyone running Fire OS 6, use the 64-bit version. Finally, download the newest version of the Google Play Store APK. The newest version as of recording is linked below, but you may need to select a newer version depending on when you're watching this video, since the app receives updates often. With the four APKs installed on your device, you can finally begin installing the software on your Fire tablet. The order in which you install these onto your device is very important, so make sure to install the apps in the right order. Begin with installing Google Account Manager, which should be at the bottom of your notification tray. Hit next on the installation screen, then hit install. If you run into any issues in these steps, you may have downloaded the wrong version for your tablet. Repeat this process for the three remaining apps in the order you downloaded them. Google Services Framework, followed by Google Play Services, and finally, Google Play Store. Make sure not to open these apps when they finish installing. Just hit done and move on to the next app. Both Play Services and Play Store take some time to install on your device, so don't try to cancel the installation or turn off your tablet if it seems to be taking a while. When all said and done, the entire installation process shouldn't take longer than about 5 minutes total. With the four apps installed on your device, it's time to reboot your tablet. When your tablet has booted back to the lock screen, we're ready to set up Google Play. Head to your list of apps and select the Google Play Store. 
Google will ask for your account information and whether you want to back up your app data to Google Drive. Once you've set up your information, you'll be able to access the Google Play Store and can install any Google-only application you want. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Fire devices and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.